God love Jin. Sean has altered the UK, who's a Blady Siang, amongst others, grew up to become a glamour plus icon of Liverpool's gay club scene. But as a child, he admits there weren't too many boys dressing as girls on the streets of Anfield or at a secondary school. I went to Queen of All Saints, I was the Queen of All Saints <laughs> joke. When you're a girl, people call you love and they open doors for you. But when you're a man, they call you mate and shove them in your face. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't mind people seeing him out of character, he adds. Because it only highlights the craft of being a drag queen. It shows them in an awful form, he explains. I do look like a man, but I can make myself look like a woman. That's the talent. So, will there ever come a time when the sequins and eels are put away for good? I'm 47 now, and when you live the other side of the clock, like I do, it's like being on a chain gang, he smiles. If Saturday night comes and you put your makeup on, and it isn't hiding your tiredness anymore, it's time to angle up your frock. If you have the energy, you can go on forever. And there's nothing worse than a drag queen who's lost their sparkle. When the light's gone out, it's time to stop. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Liverpool Football Club's old woman's Christmas party. Yeah. And we decided to strip down. No, you decided to strip. <laughs> and then, and then we've never been invited. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> What's that say on a tester? <laughs> it's not. I remember doing all my release in Patrick's bar. Oh no, I came up to the He asked me to do it right. <laughs> he came down to see me in Manchester, from Manchester, right? And then um, Craig got out of the town, and I was going, I need to drink, I'm going out to the hospital. So he just took me out, so I just came around for a stick, he put me in his taxi, he took me to Patrick's. So yeah, there's a fucking cherry lane, like that on the side of me, he was doing a fucking lap dance for me. So then I sat in the chair and said, I was like, that's doing wheelies in the wheelchair. Fabulous. I went back to the hospital, they were fuming again, we were about to give all your, put up, pack up, phone your stuff, pack all your stuff, went, kick it out, and I went, why? I'm not in prison, am I? She went, you I swear down on my life, I haven't took nothing. <laughs> 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 Mate, we can all be friends again. Mate, I can all be friends again. Mate, we 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 can all be friends again. Mate, I'll try not to film your bulge. See if I can see before. You want your eyes off it, can you? For all of the grinder. So are you two, are you both based in Gran Canaria then or is just... No, no, I'm, I'm in Liverpool. That's amazing. Oh, okay. This is my once I'm a year dragging out. Once a year? Once a year. Wow. And actually she's had a couple of jellies, she gets these butchers and she'll think she's started. <laughs> 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 Were you at Alternative Miss Liverpool? Yeah. I was the opening, you know the voice at the opening? Oh. Right. I was the voice. Right, so I thought it was a recognised. Voice. Yeah, I think so, I've seen it because I lost the best. 
So what do you want to learn from the person? So I'm saying, so I don't know how you can fucking do that and all that. And said, you had to bet on something, can't even remember like what it was. And then if I lost, I had to do drag, so I did that one night. And then fucking never stopped. And then yeah. started getting paid, and started getting paid for it in case. And all she, yeah. was, all she was feeling, because she, she used to do the cabaret upstairs, when we had to upstairs bar, and do the DJing, yeah. didn't she? I, was well, doing, I started just doing the cabaret, and yeah. she never got paid for time. Yeah. She just got yeah. face pound for DJing, yeah. and then getting 50 pounds <laughs> for doing cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> she was feeling. That's right. But it was about eight years ago when um, I was DJing in Patrick's bar. And I was doing like a little talent night, if you remember. And you come in and went, girl, do you mind if I um, do a number? And I was like, love you too, just love you too. I think it was the um, Miss Patrick award night we were doing. And you come in and went, stick that on. And oh my God. It I, was, was, I did Paris and Melinda. It was, it was, yeah. it was, it was um, Halloween. It was amazing because nobody's heard that song yeah, before. Daniel, me and Daniel both and, and this, too. this was like... About at least what six months before you did it in the UK. Yeah, no, I mean, me and Daniel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ from yeah. Manchester at the time. Well, I, I was blown away by it because I'd never heard it before, and I was like, it was just bizarre to think how big of a dance floor hit that was. Uh -huh. And you were the first person uh -huh. to perform it. It just blew me away. I was away. feeling because me and Daniel were on the radio, and just as we live in uh, Liverpool, Gay Anthem. And me and Daniel were fantastic. Like, <laughs> 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 I didn't have you on a copy, didn't I remember? Yeah, Paris to Berlin. Yeah, you just went to the and now it's gone. But I was like, wow. wow. I've never heard it. And it was just That's like, magic. It was oh, brilliant. I'm sure you will, isn't it? How long have you been doing it for, Ashley? Um, fucking like 11 years since now. Since I was born. Since, <laughs> since I was born. Since I was born. Since I was 18. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 9 years. That's your wishing to do it. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. Twenty-five years. Wow. Yeah, twenty-five years. Twenty-five years here, or have you been? No, I've been in Liverpool for eight. Yeah. For eighteen, I was, was from Manchester originally. Yeah. Oh. But when I came here, I knew lot, everyone. I knew Sian and all that lot from a club in Manchester called Dan Satiri that they all used to come and raise the tits. So. Oh yeah. When ecstasy was twenty-five pound a tablet. Do uh, you remember Sian? Yeah. We took him in quarters. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, I remember, I used to work in the gardens, yeah. so I used to get them, it was £25 mm -hmm. for slogging the golly, all yeah. nice. I'd order the cab, I'd get to Dan Citeria, and the owners, Glenn and Phil, was it? Phil, yeah. They would howl, seeing me, get out of a taxi all the way from Liverpool, and make me so welcome. And you go up the stairs, and you bump into Auntie M, selling my tops. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> Where am I? It was just fantastic. It was my little gimmick, they got me an ice cream tray then. And, and I kill. thought, you know, they used to give them away free and then they started selling them and it was making three hundred pounds for fucking ice So you were Auntie Emily and that was your name? Auntie Marley? Yeah. Well it's always been my lady, Dick yeah. Trick, but when yeah. I come to Liverpool, yeah. it's, it's my lane, Marlene's too easy. Oh, yeah. 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 So I lost my dick trick and then I lost me um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lost your accent. Ha 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 ha!